रेडियो सेंटर के 1170 सेवेंटी एम पे वेलकम लिस्ट मैं हूँ आपके साथ में ईरा एंड आई वेलकम यू टू दिस सेगमेंट जहाँ पे हमारे साथ जुड़ते हैं विनी गुप्ता फ्रॉम यू सी ईजी वेल यू सी ईजी एज यू ऑल नो इज दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट मेक्स कॉलेज एडमिशन ईजी सो लेट्स वेलकम विनी गुप्ता ही इज द सी ऑफ यू सी ईजी एंड ऑनलाइन अकेडमी फॉर कॉलेज एडमिशन इट्स एज यू सी ई ए ZY. They are a national company headquartered right here in the Bay Area. They have a large team of experts that can help with admissions to all colleges in USA. Again, the name is UC Easy. That's U C E A Z Y. We are also live on Facebook on the Radio Zindagi Facebook page. So, listeners, if you want to visit this conversation over there, you can do so on the Radio Zindagi Facebook page and leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. So, uh. Hi Vinny, welcome to the show. We also have a you know really pretty, really chubby face on air with us. So guys, welcome to the show. How are you doing? Great. Excellent, uh, excellent, Ida. Thanks for having us. Uh, Shari, you want to say hello? Hi everyone. I'm really excited to be here and share a little bit about um, our mission and what we do for families. That is awesome. So let's dive right into it. Let's get talking about that. Well, Vinny, uh, you know, uh, uh, we have Sherry on air with us. So, uh, Vinny, do you want to tell us something about Sherry or should we uh, hear it straight from the horse's mouth? Uh, let me, uh, I always love doing this uh, uh, okay. because I'm so proud of her always. Um, uh, and then Sherry can add uh, perhaps the mom side of Sherry because uh, I, I obviously don't relate to that piece. So uh, Sherry runs uh, our college prep program, which is our program for 8th till 10th grades, in which we lay the foundation for the high school journey and for college admissions. Now, Sherry is uh, someone who has a very unique set of experiences, which are very relevant to our listeners today. She's an external reader of applications for the UC Berkeley. Mm -hmm. uh, so every year, a UC Berkeley would actually give her thousands of essays and applications to read. She was also a school counselor and a college admissions counselor at uh, Monte Vista High School in Cupertino. All of us know how highly reputed Monte Vista is, but how also difficult Monte Vista is and all of that stuff. And uh, uh, let me have Sherry talk to you about her experience as a mom with all of this COVID crisis going on. The parents out there um, attempting to do our best work with educating our kids and, and making sure they have access to the best for education. I, I'm feeling the pain with you. I have a two small children going through distance learning now. Um, and, you know, like Vinny said, like we all want what's best for our children and especially here in the Bay Area, it's a competitive environment. Um, and we're, we're watching our activities that our students used to be involved in now drop and, and attempting to fill this kind of unstructured time with valuable and meaningful things. So, you know, as a mom, I, I feel the pain of uh, our folks in the Bay Area who are really struggling to figure out like how can we not waste this school year right right so uh, guys can you also tell our listeners and, and viewers on Facebook about UC easy and your mission sure uh, 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 thank you uh, Ira for that opportunity so you see easy the name stands uh, for university and college admissions made easy it is not University of California made easy even though uh, we have great uh, expertise in UCs. So a little bit about the story of UCEC. UCEC was, uh, our mission is to simplify the high school journey and the college admissions process for students mm -hmm. whose parents were born or educated outside the US. That's me, by the way. That's my co-founder, Vaitish Koladi. Uh, we came from India 30 years back even though I went to some of the best schools and colleges in India, like Bits Pilani or the, and the Indian Institute of Management in Calcutta. Okay. And we had great jobs in Silicon Valley. When the time came to support our own children through high school, uh, Monte Vista in my case, Cupertino High in the case of my uh, co-founder, VK, we struggled. And uh, uh, initially there was a lot of arrogance. It's like, hey, I went to great school colleges back in India. I'm sure all of that applies here. And that arrogance very soon turned to, out, turned to outright anxiety and fear. It's like, oh my gosh, I feel like a fish out of water. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of yelling and fighting inside home, stressful. And we said, there's got to be a better way for millions of families like us. And that's, that's why VK and I founded uh, UC Easy more than five years back. We've been online since day one. Some people now, in hindsight from COVID, some people might say, hey, you guys were ahead of your time. <laughs> uh, uh, that how did you foresee all this stuff? Don't get me wrong, I'm not happy at all for, because of this COVID thing. It's a very bad thing for all of us. But in but a way, you were always prepared for it or anything of this kind. Indeed, indeed. So today we are supporting students all across the country, currently in 26 states. Uh, we wow. are clearly the largest uh, company mm -hmm. for college admissions and high school preparedness in the Bay Area, but one of the biggest across the country. Uh, we have almost 60 experts, uh, uh, and Shari will talk about a few, uh, that experts that include school counselors mm -hmm. that help develop the student in grade eight till 10, and college admission experts that help you with the college application process in 11 and 12, and specialist for transfers from community colleges to four-year colleges. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so what are the main messages for our listeners today when you say 8 to 11 or when you talk about seniors? If you could shed some light on that. Sure, I'll briefly talk about seniors and then I'll invite Shari to talk about the younger grades okay. because that's her focus at UCEC. So for seniors, guys, uh, let's start with the data. We know that most colleges have gone test optional with SAT or ACT, and some like California State University have decided not to consider them at all this year. You also know that if you're a senior, in most cases, your last semester's grades were not given. So the traditional logic and data and statistical experience that you apply to create your college list this year, most of them will not apply. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, which basically means that this year be extra careful in preparing your college list, especially what are your safety colleges, meaning which are the ones you definitely will get into. That will change because if you were thinking of San Jose State, based upon the previous formula, which included the test scores, if you were using that to think of San Jose State as your safety, that may not happen this year. Number two, as you think of UCs, your value of essays and your activities would go up so much more. Remember, test scores, optional, last semester's GPA not available. Uh, so those would be my two advices that be extra careful for UC applications, be extra careful with your essays and your, your activities. Think of your, your uh, uh, safety list carefully and as always, the top ranked Stanford type colleges, we think that they will continue to be as competitive as they were. Uh, Shari, you wanna talk about uh, how to stay competitive with all the COVID crisis? Sure, um, I had a wonderful call with a family last night, um, really asking a question specific to activities. And those are the questions that we're getting most from families. Our college is gonna look kindly and excuse this COVID crisis um, for kind of allowing for no activities? The answer is absolutely not. And with college admissions, especially for eighth, ninth, and 10th grade, it's not about the activities. It's about what is the meaning that it has for the person doing the activities. So, you know, when I get the question constantly from families, like, you know, what are we supposed to do? The answer is this is your time to break through the competition. So not only are we encouraging students to stay active now in a virtual world? Um, we're saying this is your time to separate yourself from the rest of the pack. Like if you love robotics, you can't go into school and clubs and competitions and do robotics this year. So the kids that can adapt quickest to go around kind of this, this, op this huge obstacle that we have allows for these students to stand out with showing how persistent they are and really showing the meaning and passion behind what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So in the eighth, ninth, and 
10th grade, we are focused on the development piece. When I get students, um, you know, 11th or 12th grade, it's too late. Now we're just marketing you. Now we're just hoping for the best results. But in 8th, 9th, and 10th, we get to like build on these amazing activities, uh, the course selection and your academics with really building up so you have a best shot at competing for uh, top tier schools. Okay, so are there any educational webinars that our listeners can attend or view? Uh, absolutely, Ira. It's very, very timely because we've got two tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so, and these are listed on our website. Again, that is uceazy.com. You should be easily be able to navigate to the events page. So tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, we will talk about college essay writing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for grade 11 and 12, even though everyone is welcome. We'll have two presenters. Uh, uh, Jen Grookover is the director of our college essay writing program, and we'll have Dr. Monica Randall. She has almost 30 years experience in college admissions. Okay. Terry, you have one tomorrow too? Yeah, I'm really excited. My 4 p.m. one also on our website to register is a new program design that is specifically for helping families navigate high school experience, high school journey through COVID specifically, and always valuable um, help with navigating the high school with our very underfunded public schools. Um, but specifically in this time, I think it's really awesome to meet the needs of families struggling with navigating this whole situation um, specifically with high school COVID activities and academics. So right. that's at 4 p.m. tomorrow. That's at 11 a.m. PST and 4 p.m. PST. It's all in Pacific time. So listeners, log on to the website uceazy.com. That's uceazy.com for more information. And the number to call them is 8339-UCEZ. Once again, it's UCEA. ZY. Well, Vinny, Shari, thank you so much for being here with us. Great talking to you. Great information. And I'll see you both next week. Thank you, Ira. Thank you. And thank you, listeners. Remember, this conversation will remain on the Radio the Facebook page in case you want to revisit and make some notes. So stay tuned. And guys, thank you once again for being here.